Hey, guess what we're doing today? Another day in life video, and this time with the beautiful and gorgeous M2 MacBook Air. So what we're gonna do today is put this laptop through its paces, test the battery life, the performance, and most importantly, the experience. So without further ado, let's get this party started. And wow, that was cringy. Alright, I usually go to the gym first thing in the morning, but since we woke up early at 6 and uh, the gym isn't open yet, I decided to be productive this morning. So basically, I'm going to check my emails, reply to some comments, and most importantly, study for my differential equations exam that I have later this month, which I do not want to fail, so uh, let's get studying. Alright, but before I get started, can we appreciate how beautiful this M2 MacBook Air is? Like, if I close a lid right now, it's like a perfectly metal rectangular notebook, and the flat edges feel super duper nice, and that makes the laptop feel super duper thin and light as well. And once I opened up the screen, we got that new controversial notch that I actually quite like, as it gives me some extra vertical real estate, and also we have a new full height function row, which does look quite weird, but hey, it works well. And if you're wondering why my keyboard has these random symbols, it's because this laptop Top is for my aunt and since we're both Taiwanese we use these symbols to type out Chinese but uh, anyways let's get studying Decently productive and got quite a bit of work done, but it's 8 o'clock which means the gym downstairs is open and it's time to get our early morning workout. Let's do a quick little battery check though. So it's 8.07 in the morning right now, which means I've used the laptop for like an hour and a half now, and taking a look at the battery life, it's still at 95%, which is actually really good. But uh, anyways, let's go. A lot of you may be wondering what workout program I'm doing, and I'm actually following one from this YouTuber called Jamie Ethier, and it seems pretty promising, so uh, I think it's worth a shot. And also, uh, just to let you guys know, I am like completely new to the gym, so I'm pretty weak and my form is absolutely garbage, so uh, try not to roast me too much in the comments. Also, I forgot to bring my watch and I don't want to go all the way back up, which sucks, but uh, oh well, let's get started. We just finished our workout, but guess what? I forgot to stretch beforehand, so this is gonna hurt like hell tomorrow. But uh, anyways, let's go make some breakfast, take a shower, and get going with the rest of our morning plan.
running like an hour behind schedule, but uh, I've never been to a local coffee shop here in Kingston, so uh, I found one online that looks pretty good and has decent reviews, so uh, let's get going. Oh my god, it is unbelievably bright and hot outside. It's like 30 something degrees right now. And I'm already sweating like 30 seconds in. And I can't even see anything too, my eyes are blind. coffee shop but unfortunately it's completely packed to the brim inside and uh I didn't know it was like a sit-down type of coffee shop so uh I guess we have to move on to plan B and find a different one unfortunately I already passed Starbucks and I don't want to walk all the way back so uh, I guess we'll just settle for some McDonald's iced coffee today then Alright, let's talk about the ports and the input for a quick minute. On the right hand side is a headphone jack that is great as usual with MacBooks. And on the left hand side are two Thunderbolt 4 ports along with a MagSafe charging port. Unfortunately, you can only connect up to one external display with these MacBook Airs, which is quite sad to be honest. The keyboard on the other hand is awesome just like any other MacBook and I can comfortably type as fast as my mechanical keyboard. And lastly, this touchpad is just industry leading and there is honestly nothing better than the MacBook touchpad. Alright, so we got quite a bit of work done on the MacBook at McDonald's and uh, it's now 2 o'clock so I'm really hungry and it's time to go find some lunch to eat. Oh my god, I forgot there's an Apple store next street. We have to check it out.
So when I walked into the store, I was all excited and all that until the manager came and saw my camera and was like, excuse me, you aren't allowed to film in the store because the devices contain some corporate secrets that you can't film. So uh, all I got to do was take a phone picture of the three MacBooks while he just stood beside me and just stared at me. Yeah, not fun. All right, but anyways, I need to do a phone comparison video between the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6a. So I'm gonna grab both of them out and uh, do a little photo walk down to the lake so I can do a camera comparison between them. This is my little camera rig for taking photos of two phones. So I have two phone mounts on top of a uh, long bracket thing that's connected to my mini tripod. And then I have my Pixel 6 over here and my Pixel 6a over here. I'm gonna look like a total idiot on the street just taking photos of two phones and a camera at the same time, but uh, who cares? Let's go take some photos. All right, we have reached downtown Kingston. And uh, by the way, this is the city hall of Kingston. Looks pretty cool. And uh, all the way over here is the lakeside. And there are a ton of boats today. I think there's like some sort of boating event or something. I don't know, but cool. People in Kingston are unbelievably nice. So uh, while I had my two pixels out and my camera out for uh, taking photos and filming all the way to the lake shore, I actually had three people stop me and ask what I was doing. And they also talked to me about cameras and how they used to do photography as a kid. I even had this one 70 year old who told me like he switched from his DSLR to an S22 Ultra and, and actually used expert raw mode to replace his DSLR, which I think was pretty cool. And especially for a 70 year old. So uh, yeah, goes to show that phone cameras are being more reliable than ever before. All right, I just finished doing my photo and video comparison of the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6a, and my feet hurt like crazy from all the walking. So uh, let's go find somewhere nice to sit to get some rest and also take a thumbnail photo for this day in life video. I've officially given up on taking thumbnails. It's like almost seven now and I've been trying to take thumbnails for like an hour and a half with zero success at all. So it's gonna be something I'll tackle another day. But uh, let's try to get home before the sun sets because uh, we still got a lot to do tonight. I wanna live your life. I wanna dream your dreams. Lick the moons, catch the stars in the night. Every superpower. That is yours will be mine I'll be that it girl Pouting mouth Crossing the line
Hey, we got a package. I think it's the Pixel Buds Pro. We'll unbox that later tonight. And at last, we have made it home. I'm drenched in sweat, I'm dehydrated, I'm starving, I'm sore. But uh, we still got a few hours left, so uh, we're just gonna go cook some dinner, then we're gonna catch up on some editing so we can test the performance of the M2 chip, and also some gaming as well, because I know some people were asking about the gaming performance. But uh, that's how we're gonna end the night. I'm gonna go take a shower first, and then uh, we'll get going with our dinner plans. I just finished cooking my Hello Fresh meal that I got 40% off of, and honestly, it tastes pretty good, but it's nothing special. But, anyways, it's finally time that we do some video editing on the M2 MacBook Air to test its performance. And tonight, I'll be editing a day in life vlog of the Pixel 6a that I shot a few days ago, so it means that it's basically just really basic cuts and basic editing. There's no advanced features or special effects, so I'm really sure that the M2 MacBook Air would easily be able to power through the footage. What we are checking is how fast until the MacBook overheats, and also how fast the battery drain so uh let's get started and tackle this edit but before i start editing i do want to open the pixel buds pro that arrived in the mail today so uh let's do that right now wow that didn't stick Alright, they fit and look pretty decent, but uh, let's stop procrastinating and get editing. Alright, I just finished almost two hours of video editing and the MacBook battery is about to die. But hey, the M2 chip performed quite well as it went through all the footage and all the basic cuts relatively easily. There is not much overheating, there is no hiccups that I could find, and uh, honestly it just performed great. And I'm sorry I couldn't go too much in depth into the performance of the MacBook in this day in life vlog. And on that note, it's like 2 in the morning here, and I do have to work a full shift at Costco in like 6 hours, so I think I'm just gonna end the vlog right here. And if you guys do have any questions about the M2 MacBook Air, definitely leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. And also, if you guys enjoyed this day in the life vlog, and I hope you guys did, definitely go smash that like and subscribe button so you guys will be notified for future day in life videos with newer products. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Have a good one guys, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.